we are learning about how to create pivot points for your hierarchy. Now, currently we don't really have the right pivot points in our hierarchy. We have the proper pivot points uh, at the base level of each of our elements. But when I move up the hierarchy, I actually lose that pivot point. Now, since we are using drawing pivot points, um, the importance of having the proper pivot point on these uh, different pegs actually is very very important because that pivot point changes from one view to another so if I wanted to set up the pivot point at the peg level I would just simply go inside my advanced drawing tools for instance the uh, rotate tool that I have here this is a toolbar that you can bring in from the Windows toolbar menu and the advanced animation tools actually let you position your pivot point inside of your peg so it's going to be a value that is fixed inside of there if I click on the yellow box right here I can see that each of my pegs is going to have this uh, under the transformation tab I have pivot uh, which can only be positioned in X or Y axis and I could come and position my pivot by dragging it onto the right spot but then what happens if uh, I want to position it in the proper way for both of my drawings because now if I switch to my other one you can see that my pivot point is just staying in place now I don't want to use the peg pivot point for this so I'll just reset it back to zero and when it's at zero value of course it's going to be in the center of my camera just like so now in order for my drawing pivot to be read on my peg right here what I can actually do is go and select the um, the piece that has the proper pivot point I'm going to copy it and paste it so by copying and pasting with control C control V or command C command V on Mac uh, this is actually not creating a new drawing. This is creating a clone of the drawing that I've copied. Meaning if I go and change anything in this, um, in this node, if I go and modify the drawing, if I go and modify the pivot point, this is also going to affect this one. So if we remember the settings that we had for all of our drawing layers, if I click on the yellow box, I see that my drawing pivot information is applying to the parent peg. Now by having this, I can probably come and connect this right under here. And as you can see, my pivot point is now in the proper place. So if I go to my forearm, if I move up using B um, to my full forearm, now it has the exact same pivot point as the forearm. So you want to do this for all of your other pieces. For the arm, I'll just go and grab this one here, copy and paste, connect. You don't need to connect these to, the, um, to your composite because you don't want the information to be read twice. It's simply feeding the pivot to your parent peg. So now I can have my hierarchy set up for my arm. If I wanted to, I could move the hand, I could move the arm a bit and move the entire arm by moving up and down the hierarchy and they all have the proper pivot point. So the important thing with this is that it also works with my quarter front view as well because these are separate drawings. So now when I switch to front or quarter front, the pivot point information updates and it updates as well in these ones. So you want to go and do this for all of your layers and for the pegs that don't necessarily have the uh, the information that you're seeking you can go and position these on the uh, pivot of your peg by going into the advanced uh, animation tools so you can go and reposition it just like this and same thing for the eyebrows I can go and throw it between the uh, the two 
the two eyebrows and I'm going to go and reposition every time I have a junction peg that has an information that I have already inside of my drawing tools and that is appropriate then I'll just go and copy and paste it connect it under. So you can do this for all of your layers and in the next step we will learn how to merge these different pieces so that we get rid of those lines. See you there!